You know what the worst thing is about going to prison? It's coming home. Coming home to no support. Trying to find a job, find, trying to find a home. Trying to complete a treatment plan from DSS. Or having your children dropped in your lap with no home and no place to go. Well, I ran to Angela as soon as I got out. The jail was right there where my dope man was. I had a friend of mine come get me because I got out late. When you walk out those doors, you're walking right back out into the same shit you came in with. You're going right back to the place you, you were taken from. There's no, usually there's no resource out there to pick you up if you ain't got it set up. So as soon as I walked out of the doors, I was like, oh my God, I was shaky. I've never been shaky walking out of jail, but I was ready to get my life straight. My name is Angela Herx. I am the founder and CEO of Step by Step Reentry Project. In 2008, I introduced Step by Step Reentry Project to the community of Greenville County to support women from South Carolina from the criminal justice system by way of prison and jail. I started the reentry housing program here in my home. Since that day, we have assisted 1,600 women. In 2010, uh, Step by Step Ministry Hope Project became a 501c3. At that point in time, we uh, purchased a property, a new home, for the women. I realized that every woman deserved to have a home of her own. But in this case, a woman needed a safe place to land so that she could heal and restore herself and be supported by other women like me with the same story. Well, hi, I'm Melissa Galloway, and I'm here at Step by Step, Miss Angela's house, and it's a re-entry program that I'm a part of. Well, I asked around a lot of places, and my son's godmother at the time worked here for Angela, and she told me about the place. And she gave me Angela's number, and I called her, and she gave me the opportunity to come here. When I got here, it was nothing like I expected. Like the home is beautiful. It's like so nice and it's homey. And it's like, I don't know. It just made me feel like I was at the right place. Like I knew I was at, at the right place. That this is where God wanted me to be. And he was giving me a chance, a second chance. The first time I slept in a bed, I mean on a mat in jail, it felt weird as hell to me because I was so used to sleeping on something hard. And then when I came in here, actually having a bed and knowing I have a roof over my head, I ain't got, I got, I ain't got to find somewhere to sleep. I ain't got to find somewhere to get, get out the rain. I'm, I actually have clothes on my back that's clean. I'm actually able to go just take a shower whenever I need to. It, it threw my mind into a, oh my God, this is really happening. This is really where I'm at. And it, 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 it was different because I have not had that in a long time. It was very nervous and like awkward at first. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know, I didn't know Angela and I didn't know any of the, the other ladies. There were two other ladies that was already here in the house and I didn't know how they would look at me. I didn't know what I was walking into, honestly, but I was just at my point, lower point where I was willing to, to give it a chance because I, I needed the help. The reason why I started Step by Step is because I found myself in the criminal justice system. 
1991, January 11th, I was taken by ambulance to a hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was given narcotics, lots of them. And I did not realize that I, I was being turned into a full-blown drug addict. And that's how I ended up going to jail. Wife, mother, career woman, all of that was taken away from me. I never thought that I would ever go to prison, but I did. When I was released from prison, there were no resources in the community to help a woman with my skin color. I found resources, not here in Greenville, but in Columbia, South Carolina. It was a safe shelter. It was supported. There wasn't many women with the same circumstances like me, but they accepted me. And from then, I was able to begin to be start healing and rebuilding my life. My name is Sindel and I'm an addict. Hi, Sindel. Hi, um, We're going to start this morning meditation off with a moment of silence, followed by the serenity prayer. Moment of silence. Who are we not? God. God. Grant me the serenity to accept, accept the things that I cannot change, change. the courage change to change the things, things that I can, can. and the, the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Ask the one to read just for today, please. I'm Taylor and I'm an addict. Hey, Taylor. My low point was really like when I um, became like really addicted to um, crack cocaine. I started with pills. They say I said I'd never touch heroin or fentanyl. And the girl I was with, because I didn't want to argue, I gave in and stuck a needle in my arm. But I chose to do that. I didn't feel like that demon, it was no me letting go of it. Like I constantly, like even when I wasn't thinking about it during the day and I'm like, I'm not even gonna do this. It was just like something drug me out of the house and that's what I was doing it. I was miserable with who I was with. I was miserable doing what I was doing. I didn't feel like I had a reason to live anymore. And then I became pregnant with my fourth child and that was really a life changer for me because I was like, I don't want to continue down the same road. I do not want to use, and I know that if I'm going to, you know, stop, I'm going to have to leave from where I'm at in Anderson. I have to separate myself from people, places, and things is what they tell us in recovery. So I knew what, what, what would trigger me, and I knew I needed to get somewhere where I would have support and some structure and, like, something to follow. I mean, I just... I'm hell-bent on getting this done and getting my life back. I'm almost 31. This is my first birthday coming up that I've been sober. I know I had the clean time, but actually doing the step work and being around a supportive, you know, a supportive community and having other women in here that are wanting the same thing was like a, it really gave me time to, to reflect on myself and work on myself. And it's been great. All that I learned about me through the 12 step avenue, that pathway of healing, plus what I drew upon the, the Pentecostal way of living, and then my lineage, the Cherokee traditions of my great great ancestors passed down. So I was able to put those together and out of that came step by step. Angela let me know that coming here would be, you know, a chance to really get to focus on myself and to work the program of recovery. And I I know seeing just seeing her in the place that she is and like a little knowing a little bit about where she's come from, it like it feels possible, you know. When I came here, I wanted better. And 
I'm actually, I can actually get out feelings now that I've never gotten out with anybody. I can talk. I can express how I feel. I, I'm understanding myself more and I'm seeing now my self worth and what it is that I will, you know, put up with and what I won't allow to hinder me anymore, like in the future. Putting myself first in this is becoming the biggest step in letting that powerlessness take over. Because I, I try to do it myself, I can't. Getting a sponsor, doing the meetings, doing the meditation, being around these girls in this house, it really does help. Coming step by step and doing this program, it actually has changed my whole outlook on life. The future step by step is the alternative healing, culturally based. Um, we are working with our Native American family on uh, incorporating healing circles in our community. This is going beyond the 12 step program. This is beyond just having a bed to sleep in. This is about rebuilding a whole woman. It will really be important for the community to step in and provide support to this cause, to this organization. Uh, we need your donations, we need your support. Uh, come out and volunteer with us. Uh, visit our website, www.stepbystepreentryproject.org, Facebook pages, and Instagram. We really need your help in helping these women reintegrate back into the community in a healthy and positive way. So join us.